Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Wednesday night catch-up. In tonight's short video, we'll finish off the car ride that was started last weekend, uh, driving around sort of our, the local area where I live. This time we'll go out into the country a little bit, to a country park uh, near the river. I'm sure you'll find that interesting, especially people uh, from abroad. They seem to be fascinated by the sort of the countryside and how green and how healthy and fresh look at all the sort of countryside is. We just kind of take it for granted, I suppose. On an engineering side of things, I've had quite a few people ask us, what's the best method to find an edge in a milling machine? Well, there's no best method to find an edge on a milling machine. It just depends what you're doing. There's two or three different ways that I use, uh, one or two favourites, one or two that you could be quite surprised at, uh, how cheap and effective these methods are. So we'll do that a little bit of edge finding on a milling machine. So we're back on Newburn Road now and we're driving into a place called Leamington. This is where I was actually born. Uh, Leamington, a little, basically a little mining town. And that's the remains of the old glassworks. The glassworks tower, that big thing there, is actually a listed building. On the left hand side you can see some pylons and some electrical installations. There used to be a power station there. There was one on this side of the river and one on the other side. Uh, it was called Stella Power Station. Stella 1 and Stella 2. And that must be 50 years ago since that was also demolished. Right, we're back on Newburn Bridge Bank now. And this time we're going to turn left. Well not, we're going to turn right because we're being left and left's the bridge. That's the bridge along there. We're going to turn right towards Newburn Leisure Park. This was a massive industrial complex. There was big steel factories here. There was actually a coal mine here as well. Now it's all gone. The new one. We're heading into the sports complex now on the riverside park. The pub on the right hand side. That used to be an old pumping station. See at one name this was all chimneys and factories and like Dante's Inferno. I suppose it's progress. Fucking hell. Very popular with cyclists and dog walkers in the summer as you can see. Cars parked everywhere. This is a boat ramp in Newburn. That's a river tide down there. Quite low tide. They run power boats from here and do a lot of water skiing. And slightly further down the river, under Newburn Bridge, is Tyne Rowing Club where they do. They have races on a regular basis. Quite a, a big concern it is. Nice and quiet and peaceful down here. There's Deborah sitting waiting for us and a little Honda Jazz, patiently waiting. I've been asked about edge finding on a mill machine. These are some of the tools I use to find edges. You'll recognise that one because I use it all the time. You've probably seen us use one of them. I don't think you've seen us use their cigarette papers. I've got an electronic edge finder here I don't use very often, but it is very effective. And I've got a simple dowel that I'm going to show you how to use. I've got a block aluminium here, we need to find that edge, that edge, and the top edge. The thing that you need to do quite regular, find an edge so you know where to put your tool to take a specific cut. This is the one you've probably seen me use most of the time, normally just used in a drill chuck. That end's 10mm, that end's 4mm. It wiggles around in the middle, possibly why it's called a wiggler. We'll put it in the drill chuck like that. I'll bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see exactly how it works. Start the machine up at a reasonable speed. You can see how it's oscillating, it's not in line. So if you bring the workpiece in towards it, till it touches it, you'll see it pushes it towards the centre and eventually the wiggler will become one there, it's stopped moving. A little bit more, 
they add, it just pushes it off lane. We'll stop the machine. We'll know that that pin is dead on four mil. So now the centre line of the milling machine is two mil off the edge of there. From there you can zero it, you can go plus or minus, depending on what size cutter you want. You can use the hand reels on the milling machine. Simpler way is a day or No more accurate, just simpler and quicker. Next one, this is just a round bit of steel, happens to be a dowel, something that's round. I know it's exactly 10 mil. I need a cigarette paper. I used to use these for another purpose at one time, but all them, them days are gone. So you bring your machine in, so it grips the cigarette paper, it's got it there, and then you ease it off until it just releases there. So it's just released. That cigarette paper is 0.03 of a mil thick. They're all more, it's the same thickness. So now we we'll know that that is 0 0.03 off the edge, which basically is a fanny's hair. You can also do it using the milling cutter, which we'll demonstrate a little bit later on. If you want to find the top, that's your milling cutter in there. You need to touch it off without damaging things. You simply put a cigarette paper in. Bring the machine up, or bring the bed up rather. And you'll feel it start to grip the paper. Grip it there, ease it off. That's it. Just grip in there. So a 0 0.03 away from there, which is basically nothing. This is an electronic edge finder. It's got a little battery in there, a little LED, a little buzzer. It's got a ball on the bottom. The ball is exactly 10 mil diameter. Once that ball touches the workpiece, because it's insulated from the tool, it creates a circuit and buzzes or the light comes on. I'll bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see the business end of it. Right, so you don't need the machine running. All you need to do is move it along until it touches the workpiece. You see the light comes on, it makes a buzzing noise. Right, so that now is exactly five mil away from the edge. You can use it to find the height of something as well, or to find the the top surface of something is exactly the same. Bring it up. Nice and gently. That's it. So you can check your DR rule, back it off, bring it up again. As you know, you're very, very near. That's it there. Simple, effective. I don't use it that much because you've got to put an RA quality in to use it. It doesn't go in my drill chuck. This is a really simple cool rain edge finder. It's just a bearing on a bit of shaft. It's actually a 30 mil bearing. It can also be used as a push tool in the lathe, similar to what we are doing last week. Start the lathe up, bearing spins. You bring the workpiece along until the bearing basically stops spinning if you watch it. It's got some paint marks on so you can see it. It's slowing down, it's barely, it's just touching. Just touching there, so I know now that's a 30 mil bearing. The centre line of the machine is 15 mil away from the edge. Simple as that. Really simple, quick, easy to make. And like I say, it can be used as a push tool for pushing things straight in the lathe chuck. This time we're going to touch off a milling cutter, cigarette paper. It's got a little bit of light oil on it, so it sticks. Quite simply, start the machine up, start the machine up, bring it along. Nice and gently, and as soon as it touches, the piece of paper will sort of move, that's it. So that's, that's 0 0.03, so that is basically on the edge there, and we'll machine it. To a hard content. The same method also works on the top surface. Just 
nice and gently. That's it. So now it's touching. It's still no more than touching. It hasn't taken the cut. So that's point zero 0.03 away from the job. If there's anything you want us to cover that you see me doing in the workshop in a little bit more detail, just put a comment in, ask whatever you want to do. I've had quite a few people on about sharpening drills. I'm going to do one on sharpening drills. Uh, how to line things up in a four-jaw chuck. I'm going to do something about that. I've done videos in the past, but a little refresher won't do any harm. Once again, just time to say thanks for watching. Don't forget, click the subscribe button. It's either that corner or that corner. Little arrow, click that. Thanks for watching.